Hey guys, um, welcome to this new tutorial on Unity. Um, today we're gonna just improve upon the script we left um, in the last session and also see how to just uh, kill objects and um, remove elements from the scene. So I'm gonna just turn on what we had. Uh, let's click here to maximize on play so when we run it again we're gonna get this nice big screen and you see that what we did last week I mean or basically in the last tutorial it was just creating this kind of ray caster that would create a line between the the game object and um, and the direction in which he's aiming right um, but you can see that this is not so precise in the sense that it's we're kind of controlling with the mouse the direction but we're not basically aiming to the position of the mouse. You see that there's a difference between the line and the mouse itself. So we're going to just try to solve that. And also, um, if we would like to click on an object, we want to just, let's say, have this, if it's a laser or something, just point out what object we're pointing. I mean, we want it to be in the mouse, but also that would determine if the mouse is having any action over the object. Um, so let's try to just fix some of that stuff. Uh, so if we look at the sorry, if we look at the script seven, which is the one that we were placing in Raycaster, right? Uh, I thought that was just kind of a quick way of getting into this kind of raycasting situation. But let's create a new one that we would apply directly to the camera. Um, so let's go into scripts, create new JavaScript, and we're going to call this one tutorial. Oh wait, right, no spaces, and that's fine. And let's drag this guy to the camera, um, main camera, and we'll leave the one from the ray caster there just to kind of uh, have a sense of what is the difference, and then and then see that, right? Uh, so we had this kind of effect going on here. So let's just edit the script. Okay. Um, so the First thing I want to do is just um, is definitely bring a, a game object. Uh, in this case, we're going to call it parent because I, it's just we need to have a reference of the um, of the parent. I mean, we could do it in different ways, but for now this is a easy way to do so. Uh, so if I save that, you see that the camera will allow me to link the parent, and I want to link the first person controller being my parent, right? It's just um, just a quick way of uh, saying um, that's my parent. Um, we're also going to just do a variable for the call hit for the raycast hit. Sorry. Right. Um, and that we're going to use because we're going to be raycasting something. And also we're going to variable line for the line render, right? So because we're gonna repeat again the line rendering uh, um, functionality. So let's start by adding again the component of the line. So we're gonna say line equals game object dot add component line renderer and there we got and uh, we, we have it and um, so line also we're gonna just um, set the width of this to 0 0.02 something quite narrow right so at this point we should have a line, a line but we haven't set the, the directions right we have just set um, the thickness of the line um, we have no points um, where we basically um, aiming. So let's do the first function. Um, what we're gonna do now is just do an if statement and say if, and here we're gonna do physics, right? Dot ray. Sorry about that. Um, raycast. And here, um, the raycast that we're gonna send this time. It's gonna be from the camera dot main, which is um, the main camera, right? In this case, you see that the main camera that we're working with is the one from the first-person controller, right? 
Um, this might run into some errors if you have many objects called main camera. So just make sure that you don't. So, and we're going to do screen point to ray, right? So this is what it's going to do is just uh, it will require some information. So we're going to provide a screen point. So input uh, and the uh, sorry, input um, and mouse position input dot mouse position. Mouse, the mouse position will be the position of the mouse in the screen, right? So that's in, in screen coordinates. Um, so if we provide that information, the screen point to ray, it's going to provide us a ray aiming towards that point in the screen, which is the mouse, if you know what I mean, right? Um, so that's the first value of the ray cast, which is basically, which is the ray or the direction for the ray, right? Um, we're going to use the variable heat um, to uh, store the information for the heat and also we're going to use uh, math uh, functions and infinity just to say that there's no kind of um, there's no real kind of end to this ray, right? So it's infinity and then I just close twice the parentheses if you see where we have to close all the parentheses and then just add our curly brackets, right? Um, so this is sending a ray and it's asking, am I hitting anything, right? So I'm sending a ray from um, the position of the um, of the camera, of this object, right? To uh, to the mount. So that's what we want. So we're going to say now line dot um, set positions position, the first position is going to be parent dot transform dot position. So this will allow us to just um, send a ray from the center of the object and not from the camera itself. In that way we will be able to see the line. Um, and then if we copy this actually, uh, we could say set the position 1 from instead of parent we will say hit right and hit dot point and that should be good um, so at this point we should be able to check if our script is working and if we have any differences from what we were doing in the previous tutorial so you see that we have that one and then we have this one um, so this is the new one, the one that is kind of sending the information straight to the mouse. You see that it's hitting precisely where the mouse is, while the other one is just kind of having a general orientation. The problem is that we are not, you see that if we are kind of not hitting anything, the ray stays in the last point it hit. We could update that, but if it doesn't hit anything, it stays there. So um, that's why we kind of add an else, just to basically keep the positions, um, like if you give two points in the same position you will get the, you make the line not to appear in the screen at least. Um, so that's something that we want to do there. And now in this area here I could just um, use an, another if statement to say well if input dot mouse uh, sorry, get mouse button Right, and get mouse button will give me either the left, the right, or the middle mouse. So I'm going to say zero for left click. Um, I need another parenthesis there, right? So that's my left click. I could just make a comment. And I could copy that to just do uh, something with the right click. So input dot, if I put a 1 here, that would be right click. right? So I have the chance to just do something. If I left click on some object, I can do something. Um, so let's print something. Uh, I'm going to say print mouse left, mouse click, right? And then also we could say right mouse click. 
and if we add to this heat dot transform dot name um, and we could say two points in space just to say you're clicking um, whatever you're heating has a transform node um, and in that transform node you can get the, the name of the object right so um, let's try this and see if it's working um, so you see that I'm kind of sending this ray if I left click well we are actually what the ray was doing before but you see that here in the bottom of the screen we have left mouse click cube and that's the object cube that we uh, had in the scene so if we go here and we call that guy something like uh, super cube right at this point as I understood the difference between the, the tutorial we had before I'm going to remove the component just not to get cubes added in the screen so if I click here it's like super cube right that's what I'm getting so I'm, I'm printing uh, the name of the object uh, and I if I right click you'll see right click uh, right mouse click super cube and now we have just control to to generate behavior both for left and right and also we know that we can actually collect the name which might be useful for something like destroy right um, first let's do that our left mouse will actually do a rotation so hit dot um, transform dot rotate so it's 0 comma 20 comma 0 let's say 30 just to a multiple of um, 19 and then so that will uh, if I left click I can rotate the object uh, so that's pretty straightforward but let's do something more interesting here so um, so I'm gonna say variable um, collision object I'm gonna call it like that um, it's gonna be from the type game object and it's uh, a game object dot find because we want to find an object um, and we're going to try to find the object that has this name right so hit the transform dot name so whatever that is collected um, and now that's going to be the game object that I want to destroy destroy um, collision object, right? So let's see if that works. If I have any mistakes, um, we'll see. So if I left click, interestingly enough, if I left this pressed, it's gonna run forever, right? That's kind of interesting. Something that we have to just take in mind. Um, we want to just make it happen only once it would have to be slightly different right uh, it seems that it's not doing yeah it's not doing the degrees that we want it's just a uh, continuous it's working like in mouse dragged but it's, it's, it's fine for now um, and then if I right click basically I killed it right so that object disappeared from the from the scene and that's okay um, the other thing that we could do is just kill this plane, which is the ground, and obviously it would just fall. <laughs> uh, so don't do that. But if you just uh, maybe create many many instances of of this guy, you would just um, be able to kill more things around, right? So. Maybe a few targets just to kill, and then you could just right click and basically kill them all. Um, right, so that's it actually. Um, we have just kind of improved in the um, in the target vision um, through the mouse. Um, that's looking much better than before and more precise. Uh, and now we're kind of implementing left and mouse button. Um, so that's it for this one and
I'll see you guys soon.